The next is our color palettes. And in this, we actually have one, two, three, four, five different types of palettes. We have the disc in which we can move this uh, circle around and pick a color that way. We have the classic, which is tints and tones, and we can choose a color that way. We have harmony, which actually will always pick the complement and show us the complement of every color, whether it's light or dark, uh, warm or cool. And that can come in very handy as well. Value is where if you were to need a Coca-Cola red, you would know the numbers to type in here and you would get the exact color. Pantone colors have numbers and a lot of commercial art uses the Pantone system and that number system. And so you would use this um, palette for that. The last one is actually a called palettes, and you'll notice that I have a Liz Steele, an Untitled, a Snapseed, a Daniel Smith. If I move it to the left, I can delete a palette, and I usually just have my Daniel Smith and my Liz Steele palette, which are, um, these are my Daniel Smith colors and something I really love to work with. I know those colors very well. It's what is on my watercolor palette, and so using them when I'm using Procreate really helps me uh, quite a bit because I'm already familiar with that. In order to create this new palette, I'm going to go File, Insert a Photo. I'm going to go to All Photos, and I'm going to choose one of these Snapseed palettes um, that you actually can get online, www.snapseed.com, has hundreds of palettes. And um, I'm going to choose that. I am then going to take my color picker, and I'm going to move to the first light orange. You can see it's now light orange. I'm going to click here and I'm going to click into the first box of Snapseed. I'm going to click on the photo. I'm going to pick color picker and I'm going to come down to the darker orange. I'm going to go back to palette and snap or click into the next box. I'm going to go back to the photo and the color picker and I'm going to pick the dark green and I'm going to click that into my third snapshot, a Snapseed box. I'm then going to pick the lighter green, again going back to palettes and clicking into the fourth box. I'm then going to go down to the turquoise color or the aqua color Again, I'm going to put that into the next box, click on the photo, click on the picker, move down to the light one. You can see it's light up in here. Click there, and I'm going to click it here. And I now have a whole new palette that is built on the colors in that photograph. Um, in order to create my Daniel Smith palette on my iPad, I actually drew in my sketchbook a picture of my palette and filled in each color, um, getting it as clean and clear as possible. And then I photographed that. So I am going to insert a photo. I'm going to go to recent and I'm actually going to open um, a photograph of my palette. Just like we did before, if I pick the picker, the color picker, and I move it to the yellow, I now have yellow. Then when I open palettes, I would put the yellow right there, and I would go around the palette choosing each color until I had my Daniel Smith palette reproduced as a palette in Procreate.